profiting from death feederism. Death feederism is a term used to describe an extreme and dangerous form of feederism that involves individuals who derive sexual pleasure or gratification from the idea of causing harm or even death to their feeder partners through overfeeding or encouraging excessive weight gain. Feederism itself is a fetish or sexual preference where one partner, the feeder, derives pleasure from feeding another partner, the feedee, to encourage weight gain. While feederism can involve consensual and mutually enjoyable activities between consenting adults, death feederism takes this to a highly disturbing and potentially lethal level. In death feederism, the feeder gains satisfaction from pushing the feedee to the brink of physical harm, or even death, by overfeeding them to the point of extreme obesity and health complications. This can involve coercing the feedee into consuming dangerously large quantities of food, ignoring signs of distress or discomfort, and disregarding the feedee's well-being entirely. Death feederism is highly unethical and poses significant risks to the feedee's physical and mental health. The feedee may experience a range of health issues, including obesity-related conditions such as heart disease, diabetes and mobility issues, as well as psychological distress from being subjected to such extreme and harmful behaviours. It's important to note that deaf feederism is not a consensual or healthy expression of sexuality, but rather a form of abuse and exploitation. Individuals who engage in deaf feederism may have underlying psychological issues or a lack of empathy for their partner's well-being. If you or someone you know is involved in a situation related to deaf feederism, it's crucial to seek help from a trusted friend, family member or mental health professional. Support is available to address the underlying issues and ensure the safety and well-being of all parties involved. Now you know what deaf feedroom is and how it involves a total lack of empathy for the victim, you can stand back and see the bigger picture of how large food corporations, fast food chains and supermarkets are guilty of this on a national and international level. They might argue that the victims are giving them consent by purchasing these foods. And of course that much is true to a certain point. However, these foods are purposely fortified with toxic vegetable oils and are created to contain a moorish mix of sugar and salt, which means someone can eat vast amounts of it without ever feeling satiated. All this is done on purpose and for profit, without any regard for the consumer's health and well-being. The only way to beat them at this deadly game is to avoid all processed food and anything with additives, instead choosing natural foods. Don't allow these feeders to turn you into a feedee. Reject their toxic, tainted, chemical-infused crap.